Hi guys. Hi. Hi guys, Cliff here. Okay, so welcome to part five of my Camco Cavalier build. And I'm just hinging the ailerons prior to covering the wing. So, and I've got Benny on the carry still. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, how do I stop that from swinging? How about a bit of blue tack, how about that? How about that? There we go. So I've just started, I'm using the little tool which is the Quick Hinge Slotter by Dubro. And the hinges are the type, same type I used on the rudder fin. And I still have to uh, shape the leading edge of the ailerons to make it either rounded or probably just leave them a little bit square just angle them but before I can do that I have to make the inch holes so before we go any further I've got a quick piece of dark chocolate my favorite mm -mm -mm. So pop it on, get the right fit in, and just push it in. And you end up with a quite a nice slot. Here we are, so there's a little little hooks. took one of my uh, subscribers to encourage me to buy one of these tools after watching me do it by hand on an earlier video and uh, I was down in my local model shop and I saw them there I thought I'll have one of those they're really cheap actually and I thought there was more to it than what there is but there isn't so cheap to buy and it makes job so much easier so I got Ian to Frank for that, Ian, Ian's RC Exploits, if you're looking for a good channel to watch. I might even link to it under this video. Check him out. Okay, so that's the three holes done in that side, three slots are either done in this side. So what I'm going to do now, I'll do the other aileron, then I'll angle this down on both faces and I must look at bending the undercarriage up, then I can drill the hole through the mounting block and get on with the covering. Okie doke. Next time I turn the camera on, I'll have two aileron hinged. See you in a minute. So the ailerons are hinged and a bit of blood on that one. Accidentally sanded through the end of my thumb, you know, like you do. Anyway, the ailerons are hinged and I thought before I cover it, I'm going to just fix the control horn. I placed the hinge directly over the control horn so the uh, screws will go down through the hinge and that'll hold that one nice and tight. And that's the one that's going to be under most uh, stress anyway, that and the other side, of course. Plenty of throw there, and it's not binding on the little exit there. Currently got about yeah, a lot. 20 millimeter throw each way. Next job is to concentrate on the um, undercarriage. Now the undercarriage has the blocks on the inside, so the leg goes up into there. It runs along and drops down so I need to make the undercarriage legs and drill a hole in the correct position for it to slot in and put a couple of saddle clamps on the plywood here 
So that's the next job. Okay, here we have two undercarriage legs. Didn't take much bending, not much to them. So I've just got to drill the holes in the wing and get the saddle clamps on. So I'll just um, drill the holes. And the carriage is now installed. I've drilled the holes for the back ones, but uh, I won't put them in yet. But they, they feel pretty solid, pretty firm. So I'm happy with that. So I think that's just about it for covering the wings. Okay, I thought while I was doing that, I'd do the return on the aileron there. Always a tricky bit to get everything covered, so I thought I'll cover it first. The other thing I've done, I've just done the wing tip, just turned it around over the top, so that's going to make a, again, a, hopefully a better job of it. So, next job is the actual panel itself. plastic that you take off these big panels makes nice plastic for covering plans so it's always worth keeping that put that on there over the center line there make sure everything's covered yep looks good there A little bit hot. One down on the end here. Let's say just there. Try not to get the iron on the um, film. The 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 actual flat plate on the film because I don't want it wrinkling or shrinking at this stage. I just want to tack it. So I'm just doing just enough to touch it down and no more. Here, say, here, say, just here, say. It's the truth, I tell you. And then start going all the way along. Let's just nick that out there. watched a video the other day and I've always tried to cover in one go but uh, basically the lesson I came out with was it's okay to cover in several goes you don't have to cover something all in one go the, the join doesn't really show out then I will stick it to the wood and cut along that edge just over the edge because you're not going to see any overlap here because the aileron will be parked here
incidentally there's something I've done that I haven't documented so far this little red tube I put in the wingtip just a short piece you tell me if you think you can guess what that's for I bet you can't oh yes we can Cliff I bet you can't you might depends how well you know me as to uh, if you can guess or not just getting now a bit closer I'm going to work on this trailing edge I think um, let's just go straight up there like that Take that around there, stretching as I go, stretching and heating, stretching and heating. That looks pretty good, I think. That's worked quite nicely, guys. Uh, it just looks like one piece of film, because we all know that it's two. Now, just the leading edge to go. Now, cut out the servo tray. Nice to have a plain, new plane ready for the season. This is my, well, second new plane, probably third, really, because I've got the Tiger Moth if you haven't seen that check out the build ready to fly that's been maiden and flies very nicely so got that one to look forward to more flights for the summer and um, the, the grillo's rubber powered spitfire conversion from rubber to rc um, is yet to be maidened I'm sure it's going to fly but whether it's going to turn I don't know because it's just on rudder so we'll have to see on that Where there's solid wood, it usually takes a bit more heat than an open structure. Looks fairly well tightened out. Now, I'm going to, oh, just one point if you've got a wing that's really uh, not as strong as this wing I wouldn't recommend tightening out one side at a time because it'll just pull it up like that as it tightens this is very strong wing so it's not going to happen but um, if you if you do have a wing that's very delicate then heat this side heat that side heat this side and work your way around it like that Otherwise you're going to find you've got a banana shaped wing, which no one really wants. Have you worked out what that tube is in the wingtip yet? Take that right up to 150 degrees. This is 400 degrees by the way on the 400F on that. I'm take it right up to 150C on the iron because I want to penetrate the tissue here 
and stick it to the wood. This is where it's important to make sure you did sand the wing really thoroughly. You don't want any little pimples showing. I'm going to go on the cut at X marks the spot. I'm going to try and get the film to stick a little bit around the corners. So one servo hole, I'll cut the hinge slots as well, do it at this stage, even though I'm going to put an, at the top going down, I want to make sure that it's easier to find the hinge slots with one layer of film on than it is with two. So that's one side done, tightened out, um, let's cut the other one, get the top surface done and then I'll show you how I'm doing when I come back. Well I wouldn't say I had big ears. That's ridiculous. <laughs> I'm just going to start the top of the second wing and I'll come, but you've seen the process. I'm going to come back to you when, um, when it's done. That's the top of the wing done now. Uh, went very well. So I just got to do the bottom of the starboard wing. That's the starboard underneath done. Went very well and cut out done. So it's the bottom of the wing looking like a wing. Just the top part to do. And that's all the covering done, apart from the ailerons. Okay, both wings done, both ailerons done. Covering finished. So now all that's left to do is the nice bit on the end where I'm going to put some Union Jack style decoration. Pretty good. Okay. Okay. Just on the top of the wings and it's kind of like a <laughs> Union Jack-esque type pattern, I suppose. Right, I'm going to reposition the camera and just put the wings on the fuselage. Exciting times. Cool, it's a mess on the floor. A <laughs> mess. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, let's look at the aeroplane. I think that's wow. The uh, little air scoop that I put on on the previous video. Looking pretty smart. That's a great shot, if the wing was on properly. Okay, right, just assemble now, fit the ailerons, fit the undercarriage, fit the aileron servos back in, glue the cockpit, pop the motor and ESC in. Because I can't maiden it yet, I'm going to run it around the lawn. I'm going to get it going, and I'm going to run it around the back garden. Um, I'll do one more last fitting out video that will be ready for the maiden. Thank you very much for following me along on this uh, brilliant journey. I've really enjoyed building this one. Hit the thumbs up button just below and I'll see you in the next part of this superb build.